this is the first charity case that came to my attention and honestly i couldn't sleep i couldn't eat i knew that i had to do something about it right away you know over the years about three to four years now we have been carrying out different different charity outreach on uh, this platform but when this young girl's case came to me I, I i felt terrible right away i lost my appetite i was thinking how can i be eating when somebody is in this type of condition I need you to pay attention to this video for just the few minutes that we have to present this case to you so that number one you see what we did with your donations and number two the next step that we need to take together see what happened this is not a ward in the hospital this is a place for the cleaner and the security and i learned that People stay here, people that are unable to pay their hospital bill are taken to this place for the time being until they are able to clear the bill. to get material out and we need to pay the necessary bill so here we have we want to do that now okay. we pay the necessary bill and these are the receipts A young 15, 16 years old who was supposed to be in school can be kept as a prisoner in a hospital on the bare floor, exposed to danger because she was somewhere that the janitor, the security, whoever, that is where they put her, a young little girl like that. She was not feeding well. I, I don't even want to go into all that because it's so disheartening. So after clearing Montorio's hospital bill, we told her Tisha to follow her back home and to assess her living condition. And of course, when she came back, the report was not good. She brought us the video and everything. And we noticed her mom, her dad, and the rest of her siblings, they were all in one room. <laughs> There was no privacy. Husband and wife had no privacy. Children had no privacy. And they barely had things to eat and all that. So right away, whatever was left in the charity fund, we started building next door. Next door, the roof was open. Uh, it was not a good condition that was livable. So we made it livable. Fix up the roof, fix up the flooring. Whatever we could do, we did to make it comfortable for the other children to at least have privacy, uh, to move next door. And then, of course, husband and wife can have more privacy. Now, as you can see, we also bought them this canopy and a share where she can do her trading. She sells provision for a living. We had no provision because financially, the charity could not continue. And this is where you come in, the viewers, new partners, and all our usual donors. We need you to provide the fund so we can go back and buy the mom all the provisions she need, the rice, the, the beans, the oil, the maggi, all those things, so she can be stable. We need the family to be stable. Yes, she does have a husband, but the husband also has a menial job that is barely providing for the family. So we need to stabilize them. We don't just want to give them bread for one week. We want to teach them to fish by themselves. And that is by ensuring before we hands up the case that the family is well grounded and they have a good business that can sustain them in case somebody gets sick again, in case any condition that uh, come against the family, they can stand financially. So please, I need you to arise and donate to this case. So, we've gotten them the brushes. And this is one. And we've got another one. 
or it changed. And here we have the blankets, beverages, and rice for the family. The table and the chairs for the family. We wanted to buy more for the money. They are too costly. And we have mats. Please join our effort to ensure that this family is stabilized. We are always praying for you that the Lord will bless you. The Lord will replenish you as you care for the poor and needy. You yourself will not lack. We know that when we bless the poor, we lend to the Lord. And anybody that lends to the Lord, when God pays you back, he pays back in multiplications. I don't have to talk too much. I know that very well. So we are waiting for you to please donate to this case so we can return back, possibly bless them before Christmas. Also, let me quickly remind us, we have a spreadsheet of all the donations that came in and everything we bought with uh, the money that came in. So feel free to request for the uh, record of what came in and what we did with it because we want to make sure we are very trans parent and we are very trustworthy so you can feel free to donate to this organization until next time jesus loves you and yes i care you care that's why we reach out to those in need i'll see you all bye bye thank you so much we are grateful